Everyone, I have an important news announcement. I'm this semester's host for Fusion. Welcome to Fusion. So during the Super Bowl, there's always a lot of really cool commercials. This year, there was one in particular that caught my eye. I'm not sure why, but it was really good. He is never late for class. Runners aspire to be like him. They wear sandals, but he wears mandals. He is the fastest walker in the world. If that commercial didn't make you want to get up and walk, I don't know what will. I want to take this opportunity to welcome Miss Mary Shook to the studio. Hi. Hello, Mary. How are you doing? Pretty good. How about you? I'm living the dream. What is the dream? Monmouth College student. <laughs> That's so true. it. So true. Mary, I understand you write your own music and play your own music here as a college student. I do. Expand on that a little bit for me. Um, I've been playing guitar since, well, I guess I was 16 when I started playing, but my family's always been really involved in music, so... I figured I may as well um, get more involved with that, so um, I've been playing different shows and talent shows and stuff like that since the last couple of years since I've been here. So did you have like a family band growing up where you would all play together? We're a little bit of a Partridge family, I'm not going to lie. Everyone says that. There's 11 of us. It's massive, I know. That's what she said. Do, do they all <laughs> play various instruments? Um, pretty much everyone plays either guitar, piano, bass, drums kind of stuff. So, so. everybody fills every position. Yes, they yes. do. <laughs> so you've been playing since age 16? Well, at least guitar. I mean, at least I play, guitar? Yeah, I played piano. I sing. I've been singing for as long as I can remember. So, so you started writing your own, own music, and at what point did you really, really start liking the music that you were making? Because <laughs> I, I myself have made my own music, and I thought it was terrible, so I stopped. Um, yeah, I guess probably with this song, this was probably one of the first ones that I actually played for people, because... I write a lot, but I don't necessarily share it with people. So the one song that's going to be coming up, uh, that's one that I first really shared with people. So that was kind of one that was more important to me, I guess, in the writing. All right. Mary brought it up. She has a song that we've decided to make a nice short music video out of. So here's the opportunity for you to see Mary's talents right now. I knew from the start it'd be a bad idea to find out where this could lead, but it's all quite the opposite of what I thought it'd be. And I'm disappointed in myself for caring to see And if all this time you knew the outcome You should have changed it when you could Too late on my part, I hope too late on yours To undo what's become of us and it's gotta be easier this way Rather than wishing for what can't be We both got our own situations to deal with It shouldn't be a problem to shake this and leave it as is Nothing to figure out because it is what it is This time you knew the outcome You should have changed it When you could Too late on my part I hope too late on yours To undo what's become of us And it's decided Time will take care of this Lesson
with you or not and eventually these feelings will subside for now please continue to prove me wrong besides all that you really don't deserve me lamenting the loss of you and my son All right, Mary. What was the name of that song? April 18th. What, what's specifically the reasoning behind the name of that song? Okay, I'm really creative with my song titles. I actually um, write down the day that I write it, and I really didn't come up with a name, so it always just ended up being the one that I wrote on April 18th. So that's pretty creative, I know. What was the specific reasoning for the, the lyrics throughout the song? Um, wow, I guess it's... Like all songs people write, I'd say pretty personal, but um, I guess it was just a situation I was dealing with at the time, but you know, you get over things. That's Absolutely. kind of why I added the or not. You yeah. live and you learn. Yeah, you do. Was this your first music video? <laughs> this was, and it was a great experience. I had a good time working with everyone at Fusion. Absolutely. We're a fun bunch, aren't we? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Sarcasm, I hope. I really do. So do you have any advice for people who maybe want to start writing their own music or how they should go about getting started in the, in the music writing business? Um, I guess for me, it was more just finding something that I'm passionate about. It's hard to write something if you don't feel it. And for me, I just kind of worked with whatever was um, getting at me at the time. So that's kind of what it was that pushed me to write that. So Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for taking the time to stop by and have fun with the Fusion crew. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely. Well, that's been this episode of Fusion. It's going to be back next month as we're starting a new style of show here, as you saw with this installment. I'm Gavin Halpin, and uh, Mary, Shuck, Mary Shook says farewell, as we'll be back uh, next month. Like I said, here comes a video that will end with utterly brilliant, fantastic times. Here. This is a private place. Here, come on now. Move. What the f can a cow get some privacy in this joint? Come on.